Welcome to the class of Introduction to Machine Learning Ensembles, Random Forest. So in this class, we will learn about random forest, the theory behind it and the application. We will also solve a few business cases and we will solve them using R. However, before getting into the discussion of random forest, I would like to spend some time and discuss about machine learning. I believe that machine learning has become a very hot area in analytics and big data. Let's look into the quotes of some of the very famous people in the industry. Bill Gates, founder of Microsoft, has told that a breakthrough in machine learning would be worth of 10 Microsoft. Now, Microsoft itself was the first multi-trillion dollar company. According to Jerry Young, founder of Yahoo, machine learning is today's discontinuity. So, you know, the technology that has advanced human civilization with some major disruptions. And machine learning, according to Jerry Young, is one of those disruptions. According to Steve Ballmer, machine learning today is one of the hottest aspects of computer science. So, what is machine learning all about? Machine learning is about automating automation. So if you think as a computer scientist that you have automated the entire workflow, using machine learning, we can actually teach computers to program themselves. Using the data, we can actually can let the computers program themselves. So that is all about machine learning. Now let's talk about the applications of machine learning. And I have actually listed the most popular one, the first, and then some of the upcoming areas as we go down the list. Actually, machine learning is used in web search in a very big way. So think about it. When you are searching for uh, some query and it has you know, the search engine has displayed a few web pages, so you actually do not click on all of them, but you click only a few of them. Now, if we can pass this information that what is your preference or what is the probability of you clicking a web page versus what we, you are not going to click, then we can optimize and we can actually create a very efficient search engine. So, and this can be done via using machine learning algorithms. Another aspect of machine learning is computational biology. Previously, all these big drug company or pharmaceutical companies, they used to create drugs in the lab. However, this was a very slow and painful expensive process. Now, machine learning helps a lot in drug design, which is known as rational drug design. So, a million of such experiments or such design can be done in computers using machine learning algorithm before they are tried out actually in the lab. And uh, this is known as rational drug design and machine learning is a very big way. It has been proved to be very helpful to these big pharma majors. Another aspect is finance. Finance, machine learning is used to find out, say, credit risk. When you apply for a credit card, it is very well possible that there will be a machine learning algorithm which will be evaluating your application. Machine learning can also help in determining who are the customers who are most likely churn out or attract from the credit card portfolio. E-commerce, this is also another very big area of machine learning. If you go to any e-commerce portal, you can see that there are certain products which are recommended by you. Machine learning algorithms are used to build such recommendation engines. Other areas of machine learning are space exploration and robotics. Think about the space rover in Mars. All its movements and all can be are controlled by machine learning algorithms. Information extraction is another very big area of machine learning. A new upcoming area is like social networks. Say for example, Facebook. It is now said to be like a multi-billion dollar company. You know, when you are on Facebook page, you see advertisement for a certain type of ad or banner and in that case uh, machine learning has been used another upcoming area is debugging so you know debugging the code is one of the most painful process 
machine learning algorithm cannot really correct the code for you cannot really debug the code and write down the correct code for you but using this machine learning we can actually figure out which are the likely places that a bug is there or is more prone to bugging now the types of machine learning any machine learning algorithm that falls into either of these four types of learning the first and the most widely used area of machine learning is supervised or inductive learning this is a supervision is already provided in in order to learn the pattern here the training data set includes the desired output the labels are there so in the training data set i already know which emails are spam versus which are non spam or which transaction is fraud and which is non fraud this is an age of big data so data is everywhere however the supervision or how to create the label that is the difficult part because this label needs to be created mostly by human that it is a fraud or non fraud however the supervision is uh, quite difficult to get the the other type of learning where the supervision is not there is known as unsupervised learning for example clustering exercise in marketing the other type of learning is known as semi supervised learning so here say i have a billion of email examples however within this billion of emails there is a data set a smaller data set for which the labels are present for say out of the billion for say for 10 million cases i know which are my um, spam or non spam so by knowing the pattern or knowing the pattern of spam versus non spam event and non event rate we can actually use bootstrapping and generate label for other data samples so this is known as semi supervised learning the last type of learning is known as reinforcement learning this is very ambitious however this is least popular area in machine learning so what is this this is combination of semi supervised learning with sequential action so say you are playing a game of chess whether you win or lose the game that is determined at the end after you have made a sequence of action and if this output or if this outcome that can be put into a feedback to get the sequential steps right then this is known as reinforcement learning there is a question that often comes what is the difference between data mining versus machine learning versus artificial intelligence machine learning is actually um the biggest subset of artificial intelligence i would say how and data mining and machine learning are almost the same depends on whom you are asking this question there are certain areas in data mining like visualization which is not much used in machine learning and certain aspect of machine learning like say reinforcement learning which is not much used in data mining so they are almost complementary to each other next talk about what are the key elements of uh, machine learning now there are several machine learning algorithm probably a few hundred that gets invented every year so every machine learning algorithm has three components first is representation second evaluation and optimization so what is representation now think about it as the computer language for machine learning algorithm so in order to automating the automation a machine learning algorithm needs to decide in which language or in which model it is going to do that that is known as representation representation there are many examples of machine learning uh, algorithms the most widely used are decision trees we are going to study then bayesian models uh, probability based models are hugely used in machine learning neural network so neural network is all about reengineering the support vector machine that also is a huge area quite popular algorithm in machine learning space um however neural network and support vector machine sometimes can be a black box it is very important to understand the math behind them 
the other very popular area is model ensemble so we will talk about model ensemble we will talk about random forest which is the most popular example of ensemble model in machine learning so here in model ensemble what we do is basically instead of using one model we use the collective wisdom of several model as we will see in random forest which is basically a collection of decision tree so instead of using the wisdom of one tree we are going to combine decision of hundreds of trees now after the representation has been done uh algorithm needs to be evaluated to measure how accurate this is now this evaluation can be done using metric like confusion matrix or precision and recall we will see how they are used to determine the accuracy of random forest algorithm after representation and evaluation has been done then comes how we are going to create this program now that is done via optimization we need to come with search an optimized searching algorithm and we can use one of the different type of optimization techniques that are present so to sum it up every machine learning algorithm has three component and they are representation evaluation and optimization so why is this course is important this course is important because uh, machine learning ensemble techniques are very high in demand in analytics industry and big data space they are very accurate and can be implemented in a short time and effort also machine learning ensemble technique like random forest they are very suitable for big data environment so it is very well worth to learn we will learn about single decision tree in both classification as well as in regression uh, we will then talk about ensemble models the theory behind random forest and the accuracy matrix the evaluation metric for both classification as well as regression mode and in the final module will be hands on session in r and we will solve three very different business cases Please make sure that you practice enough with the dummy dataset in R. Prerequisite for this course is some basic knowledge of statistics including how a classifier works or what is a regression. However, we will go over these concepts as we continue in this course. So far, we have covered basics of machine learning. We have also talked about course content and prerequisites. Next, Let's now talk about how decision is made in a single decision tree. Welcome to the course and let's start the journey together.